Hello, I'm here today with Bill Hunter, who's the Director of Communications and Information Technology for Roanoke County. Thanks for talking with me today. Anytime, Amy. Well, I know we've talked before about the broadband survey that Roanoke County is doing, so just want to remind viewers what that is, and then you're going to give us an update. Yeah. Uh, this is really the second part of our Connect Roanoke County to the World mm -hmm. uh, as part of our uh, Community Strategic Plan. And this takes it the next step to find out who in the county doesn't have high-speed internet. Mm -hmm. S and you can also have internet, but not high-speed internet. And so we're trying to find out who those folks are. So we're looking for the underserved and the unserved. Okay, great. And so how is that going so far, the survey? Well, uh, it's so timely that you came by today that uh, the survey was soft launched at the end of December and so far mm -hmm. we've had over 400 responses wow. online. But I also have to show you is this is the actual survey we're going to be mailing out mm -hmm. um, and it's going out this week in the mail so citizens should start seeing these sometime next week. Mm -hmm. um, and we're taking it a step further if you're wondering why it's the bright green color is we're going to send these home with uh, Roanoke County Public School uh, students for them to take home and have their parents fill out. And uh, right. we thought if we went bright that they would uh, make sure that it got home to mom and dad. And I feel very confident in saying that if you're in school and don't have high speed internet, this is the one piece of paper right. they'll ever send home from school that you'll take to your folks. Right, that's so important. So there's a couple things on this that one is going to come out. It's got information on here about the broadband study. Mm -hmm. It has information on here if you don't want to complete the paper form and mail it back on how you can, when you get to where you can get online and complete mm -hmm. it online, which is the same as mailing it back. Okay. If you do complete it, it's just nine questions. Um, and then you can either tear it in half and put a stamp on it and mail it back or you can drop it off at your closest public library and that'll get back to us that way. Okay. So uh, look for these. These should be hitting uh, your mail um, next week sometime and then the kids should also be bringing them home next week sometime. Okay, so people should be on the lookout for that bright green. Bright form. green, that's very right. Good. And you're making it very convenient to either mail it back or drop it off at the libraries as well. I hope so. I hope that, that the citizens will find it very convenient. Great. And so now after you do the survey, what are the next steps? The next steps are gathering information. Um, and I don't know if, if you don't have internet, of course you hadn't seen our website or probably had right. limited, but we've got a award-winning uh, GIS team that does our mapping for us. Mm -hmm. So we're actually going to map the results of the survey so we can see visually where their problems are in the county and then work from there. Our hopes are to receive uh, grant awards in the fall from the state of Virginia's uh, technology initiative. Um, but to do that, you have to have a plan. And so our next steps after we gather our information is we want to develop a plan for the county that says here's our problem areas and here's how we want to fix them. Mm -hmm. A lot of the technology initiative is partnering with local businesses who already provide internet access and the hopes of the grant submission and the partnership with the county is it'll make it a, businessly attractive, if that's a word, mm -hmm. for these folks to bring internet to the folks who want it. Sure. So. Great. And now you mentioned um, the GIS team will be mapping all that. Is that something that citizens will be able to view online? I hope they will be. Uh, we haven't decided on how we can launch that just mm -hmm. yet, but it, trust me, knowing my guys, if there's a way that we'll have it out there where you can see where it the sure. areas are. I think that would be interesting for people to see where those areas are, where um, people may be underserved. Um, you know, there needs to be some I'm excited to see it myself. Yeah, that's great. Well, I know this is definitely needed in the county just because there are a lot of 
pocket areas because uh, we're very rural, 250 square miles in Roanoke County. So there are some of those pockets where people will need to do this. Well, right. and I'm hoping we're going to be able to help out with that. Great. Well, thank you so much. I know um, we're looking forward to seeing what the results are and then those next steps. So, And where can people find more information if they're looking for this online? On our website, of course, okay. www.roanokecountyva.gov mm -hmm. front slash BB study. BB study. Okay, very good. Well, thank you so much. Thanks, Amy. Okay.